right. Well, Shabbat Shalom. It's been a little bit of a uh, of an interesting development as uh, all of the emails have gone out in the community that uh, that we I tested positive for COVID. So. Um, Besides, just first of all, thank you everyone for being so concerned about uh, about me. Um, I, I just can't smell or taste anything, which in my perspective means it'll be that much easier to eat healthy. Um, anyway, uh, the important there are a couple important announcements. First and foremost, this Wednesday and Thursday, we have our 24-hour campaign, uh, our fundraising campaign for this year. So uh, we are very excited and, and hope that you will be able to support uh, the important work that we do. I appreciate you all being so welcoming. Um, and uh, a quick thought on the Torah portion. How about that? So this week's Torah portion, we see at the end of last week's Torah portion, when uh, when Pinchas, the famous uh, zealot, acts on behalf of the Jewish people, um, God says that he gets the covenant of peace. Now, him acting on behalf of the Jewish people ended up resulting in him killing two people. And so the question is, how is that peace? And so that goes to the classic Jewish appreciation that peace is not just the absence of violence. Uh, it's not a cold peace. Uh, the Cold War, there you go, right? That's not called peace. Uh, even though technically nobody was fighting between the two major powers. Obviously, we know Korea and Vietnam and all of the other uh, uh, conflicts around the world, but that's not time. It's not time for history lesson. Um, the 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 concept is though that when we have a, a name like Shalom Bias, right, Sh uh, the peace in the home, it's not just about cessation of tensions. It's about everyone coming together on the same page, and that itself is so crucial. And that's ultimately what Pinchas was able to accomplish with by 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 killing the people that he did, he essentially took this negative source of derision out from the Jewish people. And again, we see that happen time and time again, that oftentimes it is having the difficult conversations with people. It is dealing with the tough parts of yourself, the tough parts, you know, the um, the negative parts, certainly not by killing them, uh, but, uh, you know, but the, the negative parts in yourself and the negative parts in your organizations potentially are the, the difficult components that it's not enough just to leave that live and let live, but you sometimes really have to push through in order to get to uh, an area of completeness, of wholeness, of being all on the same page. And that that's a really great thing. So uh, Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.